Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for the water signs Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun and Rising, and Venus in the North Node. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're existing, thank you so much for coming back. So you guys have the five, excuse me, the seven of um, swords and the three of pentacles. So I also clarify this. You have someone who is a liar, someone you could have worked with. Um, Sage of Cups wants to come through in the bottom with the eight of swords. This person could have caused a lot of stress in your um, relationships or your connection or your work life. Someone you work with could have been lying, um, stealing from you, not being truthful. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this person caused a lot of drama, water signs. But I asked to clarify this, and with the Five of Cups, I feel like this person has regrets. Whoever this person is wants to come back and apologize for their behavior because they're just not doing things the right way. This could person could be very sneaky. They make you do all the work, or they take from you, or they make you overwork, and they don't appreciate you. It's like this person <clears throat> is causing a lot of trouble in your finances or just making you feel really bad. They feel like this person is now um, realizing what they've done is wrong and they're wanting to come back and apologize. It's up to you if you want to accept this with the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is a decision that is up to you. This person is at a distance from you for some. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's like someone wants to apologize water signs because they feel bad. It's either an air sign or a water sign. Um, or excuse me, you're a water sign. It's an air sign or an earth sign that wants to come back. Some of you guys have two people that have been thinking about you and they really feel bad for their behavior, for the way that they've treated you. Um, your next set of cards here, if I can take them out. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups and the Hermit. So you need to walk away from a decision. Water signs, you've been thinking about it, and you're trying to disconnect, but part of you still feels attached. So I asked to clarify these, and I have the King of Cups. So this is a love situation with the Death card Scorpio energy. There's someone that you could still be connected to or you have emotions for, but I feel that you're finally walking away from this energy because you're going through a significant spiritual transformation with the Death card, which is definitely all about water signs too. too there's a new beginning that's going to happen with the Ace of Cups. I feel like you do have a new offer of love. Something is shifting for you, water signs. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You don't have to be, but this is you walking away from an old love to connect with a new love because you're letting go of the past and that's allowing you to bring new energy and have a, a new connection with someone here, 222, two, two, that is going to bring balance into your life. And then your next card that you had here is the Nine of Wands. So I asked to clarify these cards. What is the Nine of Wands about? Like, what? why is the Wounded Warrior energy here? Um, with the Five of Pentacles, this is the energy of being left out in the cold. You could have been dealing with a fire sign that severely hurt you. With the King of Wands, they could have been a bit of a player. They did cause a tower moment in your life because there was a little bit of controlling energy manipulation here with the emperor type of um vibe that i'm getting here so you could have been dealing with a player um that really broke your heart there was a strong tower moment water signs but i feel like this is past energy and you're getting through it um the reason i see that is because this person is a past connection past life connection do not think of this person do not dwell in the past i feel like you're going to let go of that because we have the eight of cups which is spirit is advising you to walk away with the five of swords there's a hollow victory with this person from your past with this emperor this person could be like your boss or somebody that you work with is what i'm getting also as a side message but there's a lot of pentacles here this person doesn't value you it doesn't pay you what you deserve this is past energy if you go back or continue to be in the situation um this person will continue to hurt you with the five of cups here and the five of swords five 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 there's significant changes that you need to make in your career for others of you if it's a past person wanting to come back because you have three fives the five of pentacles the five of swords and the five of cups spirit is urging you very strongly to let go of the past make significant changes in your life take control of your life is what i'm getting as well with the emperor energy but i do see someone here um kind of like trying to overpower you control you manipulate you cause really bad like things um to you in the sense of um disruption like they they use you they take advantage of you and there's a significant change or tower moment where this person is not going to be able to do that to you anymore because you're going to stand in your power water signs so the message from spirit is to walk away from whoever is not treating you right if it's a boss if it's a relationship whatever the situation or person is where you feel like you have a lack of control spirit is advising you to let this go and walk away because there's something better here because we have the ace of cups so there's definitely more um stability coming and more um positive energies coming your way with the wheel of fortune if you walk away from this if you stay there will be a tower moment um with the three of swords yeah this person will continue to hurt you or put you in a third party situation four 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 um your angels and guides are definitely here things are happening for a reason with the ten of swords a strong um energy ten and ten you need to end this conflict in order to have that good energy come through for you 
<clears throat> with the magician and the two of swords i'm getting you need to trust your intuition take back control of your life with the magician and the emperor you could be dealing with a narcissist water signs you need to block this person trust your intuition this person will get karma because justice is here which is libra energy so you might be dealing with a person who is an air sign that is controlling you manipulating you and is a bit of a narcissist because the emperor card was here so this person could be really good with their words um, they say one thing they mean another they can cause a lot of confusion with the seven of swords this person has sneaky energy and i don't like it they do it on purpose lots of mind games here water signs so be careful so whoever i'm reading for that's dealing with a sneaky narcissistic type of vibe definitely block this person out um the letter w is standing out for me here so they might have w in their name or last name but water signs you need to make that change five 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 um, your angel number is 555. There's a significant change that is needed so that you can really um, have your stability here with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is a work situation that are, there's some type of a conflict, something that you're not happy with, and this person is causing some type of a heartbreak, putting you in a third party situation. If you're in a relationship with your boss, this person is cheating on you. If you're in a work situation and you feel like you're not being treated right or they are overworking you, you need to cut this connection and find another job and let this one go because there's something better this person is causing conflict in your life and you need to um really focus on yourself my candle flame is going crazy so i feel like spirit is really wanting you to block this negative energy water signs because you deserve so much better with justice which is positive outcome for you not so great for this emperor the ten of swords and the emperor this is definitely like a, a situation where you have a controlling person in your life and you need to disconnect from that energy um, I did get a strong work relationship as well as real relationship because it's collective. So there's two, you know, different messages that are coming through. But whoever is dealing with uh, some type of toxic negative energy, you need to cut that out of your life. Walk away from it because there is more stability and a good outcome for you, water signs. But you need to get rid of this low vibrational energy in order to find your peace of mind and to find your happiness. Um, with the Empress, if it's a relationship, this person is putting you in a third party situation and um, they are spying on you or they're trying to control you, but you are going to receive some truth and clarity about this situation um, with the Ace of Swords, which is Gemini Libra Aquarius. So you're definitely dealing with an air sign, water signs, and there's some truth that's going to come out an apology. I'm sorry. Can we try again? Obviously, trust your intuition. I wouldn't go back to this person in my opinion but you have free will but those are the messages for you you're getting some type of communication soon um it could be from a narcissist it could be an ex it could be a a boss or someone who will hurt you um but this is low vibrational energy so be mindful water signs this person is spying on you or trying to get information about you but they're still having you in a third party situation because the empress is here and then we had the um the three of swords so see the truth of the situation it's almost like heartache end it controlling person karma see the truth they have someone else so this person is coming through with an apology but they're not they are not honest okay you have the three of the empress the three of the three of swords and then the three of the three of pentacles this is a third party situation this person might be coming back saying that oh i love you i miss you you're the one let's try again but they still have a side person i'm hearing you're the side piece 333 angel number and angel number 555 so trust your intuition water signs i send you lots of love and light and let me know if any of this resonates comment down below if you want an in-depth personal reading you can email me moonlight shadows 1111 at gmail.com trust your intuition guys and have a great weekend or whenever you watch this because this is a timeless reading so thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel 911 archangel michael is definitely always here protecting you which is so funny because this is my Archangel Michael card. So yes, call on him, ask him to give you some guidance. Um, he will provide you the answers that you seek as well as give you protection. All right, guys, so those are your messages and I send you lots of love and light. Bye, guys.